RHS. Happy Tuesday to you. Hope you're doing well. Thought of the day. So I'm really enjoying this because about 20 some odd years ago, I was a history teacher and a, and a high school coach. So I'm enjoying getting to interact with you guys, even though we're not interacting directly. But so this one is from Winston Churchill. I'm getting to pull out all of my quotes from the past. Uh, Winston Churchill, prime minister of Great Britain in World War II, uh, said, a pessimist sees the difficulty in every opportunity and an optimist sees the opportunity in every difficulty. A lot of it is about mindset. A lot of it is about, are you going to allow yourself to get overwhelmed? Uh, or are you going to just get out and get done what needs to be done? Uh, we're, we're in a challenging time and we need to have a positive mindset in order to overcome this bad situation. So hang in there and get the job done. All right, so walk around a little bit, warm up a little bit before we get into this. This, this first one, we're kind of getting into a classic CrossFit style warm up or workout. And I don't want you to hit this first one really hard. I want you to use this one to warm up a bit. So we're going to set a five minute clock and then you're going to do 10 sit ups, 10 push ups, 10 air squats back up to 10 sit-ups, 10 push-ups, 10 air squats, and just keep rolling through that for five minutes. Again, don't crush yourself on this first one. We've got some more coming later on that we can get after it a little bit. Just use this to loosen up the joints a bit. All right, guys. So for Tuesday's workout, we have three separate five minute AMRAPs. All right. So three separate sections of five minutes, as many as you can in five minutes. Uh, the first five minute section has three movements is then is going to be 10 reps of sit-ups, 10 reps of push-ups, and 10 reps of air squats. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to demo uh, three reps of each movement, just so you can see what it looks like to have these uh, movements back to back to back, and then start it again at the top. A couple things you want to think about uh, your sit-ups. You want to make sure you're sitting on the ground, right? Your feet right out in front of you, reaching behind your head at the bottom, throwing your head forward, or I'm sorry, throwing your hands forward and then touching your toes. Uh, your push-ups, you want to make sure you're fully locked out the top and then going all the way down, touching your chest to the ground, chest to deck, full range of motion push-ups. And then your air squats, you want to make sure you're staying back in your heels and then you're reaching full depth, meaning your hip crease is going below your knee. So this is what we're going to be doing. Um, uh, three reps of each movement back and forth. So, all right, ready? Three, two, one, go. So you'll notice they're start with their sit-ups. Their feet are together. They're throwing their hands forward, touching their toes. And then they're going to go towards push-ups. All right, so full range of motion push-ups. If you need to use your knees, that's completely fine. Um, and then once you're done with your push-ups, you're then going to air squats. Full range of motion, just like this. And then once you're done with your 10 reps of all three movements, you're going to start again at the top and continue for the whole set of five minutes. All right, so on this one, you can start getting after it a bit. So uh, for this, set another five minute clock and you're going to do 20 lunges followed by two wall climbs or put your feet up on something kind of high. Right, so find a couch, find a chair, find a something that you're going to be able to get into a push-up position and put your feet up on top of the on top of something high. Followed by 15 dips for guys, 10 dips for girls, and these can be ring dips, bar dips, box dips, uh, grab a chair, whatever it takes. And again, you're just going through this circuit for five minutes. All right, guys, this is your second five minute AMRAP for Tuesday's workout. All right, we have three new movements for you. The first one is going to be a lunge. What you want to think about while you're doing your lunges is making sure your back knee is touching the ground while your front knee is staying over your foot. If your front knee passes your toes at all, all right, that's putting you in a little bit of a dangerous spot. So you want to make sure that uh, you're nice and safe and comfortable, making sure you're taking a deep enough lunge forward or backward in order to uh, reach that safe position at the bottom of your lunge. Uh, the next one is going to be a wall climb. A wall climb is a little bit of an advanced movement. 
Um, so if you're doing a wall climb, starting in a push-up position with your feet against the wall, climbing up the wall while climbing back with your hands until your chest touches the wall and then safely coming back down. Now, if that's a little too advanced, there is an alternative option for you. All right. You can grab a bench or a box or a curb or a chair or a couch or anything of that nature. And then what you're going to do is you're going to start in a push-up position in front of that with your uh, with your heels touching whatever uh, whatever you're using for this and then you're gonna put your feet up on top of it and you put your feet back down all right it is uh, definitely a core intensive movement you want to make sure you're staying stabilized within your shoulders and your core the whole time while you're going through that movement uh, it does get tough all right and the last one is either going to be a ring dip or a matador dip or a bar dip or a box dip or something of that nature to where um, you're just uh, really getting your shoulders and triceps and uh, that muscle group there. Uh, so it is a five minute AMRAP. So you're repeating these as many as you can for five minutes. For the sake of the demo, we're just gonna do a quick a shortened version so you can see what it looks like to do these movements consecutively. All right, all right, ready? Three, two, one, go. So starting with lunges, making sure your back knee is touching the ground, your front knee is in a safe position. You guys are gonna be doing 20 reps. We are doing a shortened version here. And then what they're gonna do is they're gonna go into their uh, wall climbs or the alternative option with the box. So you're just gonna be stabilized with your core, coming up and back down with the box or getting all the way back into that position against the wall. And then last but not least is dips. So you're gonna take your bench or your box or your rings, if you see Sarai in that corner. Um, and then it's gonna be 15 dips for guys and 10 dips for the ladies. Once you guys finish your round, you're then gonna start again at the top, continuing your five minutes. All right, guys, good luck with that one. We have one more five minute AMRAP right after this. All right, so the next five minute circuit is 10 jumping squats followed by 20 jumping jacks. Uh, this one, if you get after it, if you do this one right, this one is gonna be the one that, that leaves you exhausted. So 10 jumping jacks, excuse me, 10 jumping squats followed by 20 jumping jacks and then back up to 10 jumping squats and just keep doing that for five minutes. And then at the end of that, rest for another five minutes. All right, so we're gonna start with a jumping air squat. Uh, first things first is you wanna make sure you're getting full depth into your squat. All right, so send your hips back, down, below, parallel, and then coming to a stand. But at the top, you wanna make sure you give a small jump to where you can slide a credit card underneath your feet. So what it looks like is this. All right, so staying back in your heels, making sure you're reaching that uh, bottom position and then small jump at the top, just so you can make sure you're uh, extending your hips. And the next movement is gonna be jumping jacks. All right, so that one, um, really super easy movement, um, but it does get really tough cardiovascularly, which is kind of the idea behind this five minute AMRAP at the end. Um, so this is what it's gonna look like doing those two movements back to back and multiple sets. All right, ready? Three, two, one, go. So starting with jumping air squats, making sure your hips are back and down below parallel. All right, and then going into your jumping jacks. So once you guys finish your reps for each movement, you're gonna go right back into the top, all right? So you're gonna go right back into that first movement and then continue back and forth for the entirety of the five minutes. All right, guys, so good job on Tuesday's uh, workout. There's three separate sections of five minutes that were not easy, so good job on that. Uh, I want you guys to take some time and stretch today, all right? So after all of this, we're gonna take about five minutes and make sure we're stretching our legs. Um, find a, a position that feels comfortable for you and just spend your time stretching. Um, and good job today. Looking forward to seeing you guys on Wednesday.